Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominic, and today I want to talk to you about the rules wizard inside of Microsoft Outlook and how it can help you automatically sort emails currently in your inbox as well as incoming emails. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Dominic and I am a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. So today I want to talk to you about a feature inside of Microsoft Outlook that can help you stay organized by automatically sorting emails into specific folders. The feature I want to talk to you about is the Microsoft Outlook Rules Wizard. So you can create a set of rules inside of Microsoft Outlook using the rules wizard. And there are some preset rules that you, rule templates that you can use to help you get started, but you can also create a custom rule. So we're gonna take a look at creating a custom rule and we're gonna talk about the other options here, but let's go ahead, let's head over to Microsoft Outlook to take a look. All right, so here I am inside of the Microsoft Outlook desktop application. So we are going to take a look at creating a rule that's gonna automatically sort any emails that are currently in our inbox, as well as all incoming emails. So for this rule, we'll go ahead and create a custom rule. And for our rule, we want to create a custom rule for any PTO request. So whenever an employee submits a PTO request or a request for time off or a request for leave, we're gonna set up a rule so that those emails will automatically be sorted into a separate folder. That way it's not clogging up your inbox, distracting you from any other emails that you're expecting, and you can put those all into one folder, one location, where you can then go back and address each one of those individually and respond when you have that time set aside for those paid time off requests. So in order to begin using the rules wizard, we're gonna go over here to the file tab. And once we're in the file tab, you're gonna see a button here that says manage rules and alerts. We'll go ahead and select this button here now. Here in this window, we want to now select new rule. You'll notice that you have the option to choose which email you want this rule to apply to. We are currently on the uh, account that we wanna be on, so I'm gonna go ahead here now and select new rule. Now here with the rules wizard open, you can see we have a few different options. There are a couple of templates that you can select from. Within the stay organized section here, you can choose to move messages from someone to a specific folder. You can choose to move messages with specific words in the subject to a folder. You can choose to move messages sent to a public group to a folder. You can flag messages from someone, that way you know to follow up if there is a certain individual that you know you wanna make sure you're staying on top of those emails for that person. You can choose to automatically have those flagged as they come in and that's gonna create a task for you there in your to-do pane to follow up. You can choose to move RSS items from a specific RSS feed to a folder. Now in the next section here to stay up to date, you can display mail from someone in the new item alert window. You can play a sound from someone when you get messages from them. You can send an alert to your mobile device when you get messages from someone. Now this next section here is where the custom rules are gonna come into play and where we are going to begin creating our new rule. So we can apply a rule on messages that we receive or apply a rule on messages we send. We're gonna select apply rule on messages that I received and then we'll hit next. Now here in this next section, you are going to choose the conditions for which you want this rule to apply to. Now, we're not gonna read through all of these here, but you can see there are quite a few conditions that you can select from. You can choose to create a rule from specific people or a public group. You can choose to create a rule with specific words in the subject. You can choose that rules or certain conditions to apply being that the rule is going to mark it as important mark it as sensitive, flag for an action, and you can see there are lots more here if we scroll down. Now the rule we're gonna go ahead and select today is going to be that the rule is going to apply with specific words in the subject or body. 
So we want anytime someone sends us an email that contains certain phrases relating to asking for time off, we want to see that in the body and in the subject of the email. If those phrases are in the email, then we want those to go to a specific folder. So we'll go ahead and select this here now and notice that down here in the second box, we can see that it says edit the rule description. It's telling you to click the underlined value in order to modify your rule. So what we're gonna do here now is we are going to select specific words to change the value. Now here we can go in and enter in specific words or phrases. I know within my organization that anytime someone is requesting time off, they know that they should put PTO in the subject line. So I'm gonna add that in there. Now you can choose to add multiple phrases here and create a list. So I'm gonna add in some additional ones here just in case. And some of the phrases that I'm gonna add are phrases like time off. I'll go ahead in here and add in PTO request. Maybe we want to add in leave request. And we'll just keep it simple with those there. So now we've got a few phrases in here that are going to apply to our rule. And when these are in the subject or the body of our emails that are coming in, these are gonna to sort to a specific folder. So go ahead in here and select okay now. Now we're gonna go ahead here and hit next. And now, now we specify the action. What do we want Outlook to do when we have emails coming in with those specific phrases in the body or the subject of the email? So the option that we want here is going to be to move to the specified folder. You'll see there are lots of actions to choose from here, even assign it to a category, those categories that you can create inside of Outlook. We can choose to delete it, so to send to our deleted items. We can choose to automatically send this delete it permanently so it is not blogging down our deleted items folder. You can choose to move a copy as well to a specified folder and keep the original copy in your inbox. So you've got lots of options to choose from here for the actions, but again, the one we want is to choose to move it to a specified folder. So now here in the rule description, we want to edit the folder, and so we'll, un we'll click that underlined term specified right there to indicate the folder that we want. Now, I currently do not have the folder that I would like for these emails to be moved to, so I'm gonna create that folder. Now, right now you can see I have inbox selected, so when I select new and create this new folder, it's gonna be added to the inbox folder. If you want it somewhere else, or if you want it as a standalone folder, then you may want to just select your Outlook email account so that it is a standalone folder, folder not a subfolder within another folder. I'm gonna create this and I want this inside of my inbox, so I'm gonna go ahead and select new. And I'm gonna call my folder uh, PTO requests, just to keep it simple again. You could go in here and change what this folder contains. Is it going to contain contact items, journal items, notes, tasks? We want mail and post items, that's what we wanna have selected. Now we'll go ahead here and hit okay. And now we see that new folder has been added to, that subfolder rather, to our inbox. We'll go ahead here now and hit OK. And now you can see all of the conditions that you have selected and applied for this rule. We can see that this rule is going to apply to any messages that are currently in our inbox that include PTO, time off, or PTO request, or leave request in the subject or body, and it's gonna automatically move it to our PTO request folder. We'll go ahead here and hit Next. Now, this next section here is to apply exceptions, if you had any. Now, these exceptions can be to exclude certain people or public groups. It can exclude specific words in the subject. And if you scroll, you can see there are lots of options that you can choose for exceptions. We're not gonna add any exceptions here to this rule, so we'll just click Next. And then now we are almost done setting up our rule. We just have a couple of options here. We can leave this as the name of our rule. I'm gonna go ahead and simplify this and just call this our PTO rule. And now we're gonna set up our rule options. Do we wanna run this rule on messages already in the inbox? We would check this if so. We would turn on this rule so that any incoming messages are gonna to apply to this as well to this rule. 
and then create this rule in all accounts. So if you have multiple email accounts within Outlook here, do you want it to apply in all accounts? We're just gonna apply it to this one account here and that is it, we are all done. Let's go ahead and hit finish. Now, once we hit apply, we're going to see that this rule will then be in place. So we'll hit apply and then hit okay. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is go ahead and take a look and see if those emails are in fact being sorted. So I'm gonna go ahead here and check that inbox. We'll go ahead and drop another email in here. We'll send a new one here in just a moment. But let's go back, let's go to our inbox and let's take a look. You can see there in the PTO request folder, we do have one new message and we can see there that a new request is coming in that is in the subject PTO request, which we know was one of our phrases that we added. I'm gonna go ahead and send one more email here now and see if it automatically gets pushed to this folder. Give it a moment there to update. We'll go ahead and help it out. And there we go, another email that was just sent a moment ago is now being sorted automatically into this leave request folder in our inbox and it won't be clogging up our regular inbox. It's automatically sorting that into that folder. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to use the rules wizard inside of Microsoft Outlook to help organize and sort your emails automatically into specific folders. That way you are staying organized and not having to sort those on your own time. So we can set up those rules either using those custom rules or you can use one of those rule templates either in the stay organized or stay up to date section. If you are looking for more content from us here at Pragmatic Works on our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the videos that we push out every week. If you're looking for more content from us outside of YouTube, definitely check out the link in our description below to sign up for our on-demand learning platform where we have over 100 courses available and we are constantly updating those courses and adding new ones. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.